Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna be putting together a new computer desk I got from FlexiSpot. So it's a desk that you can adjust the height of it or you can make it a standing desk. I got this desk for free from FlexiSpot. They're not paying me to do the video and obviously it doesn't affect my opinion whether it's good or not. I do need a new desk, that's the reason why I agreed to do this because as you see here, this is my current setup in the house that I'm staying at right now and it's just it's not good like i got this desk there it's just falling apart uh so that monitor i should probably take off these are desks basically are desks that i got for free uh somebody was giving away on facebook and i needed something quickly so so yeah now i'll be able to get rid of this hopefully and use this one giant desk as you can see the the top there and the other box is pretty big so it should be able to fit my my two monitors um and then everything else that i have that i want to put on the desk so step is uh, you actually want to measure your desktop because you can adjust this to be actually different width right or different size so it actually says you can adjust it here from 43 inches to 75 inches in width of this now you can still have the desktop longer than that uh, the max it was a weight capacity is 355 pounds or 161 kilograms let's see because now this is gonna be heavy <laughs> oh okay it is heavy, but it moves pretty easily. And this is the cable management. So now uh, I just got to connect all the electronics. So I got the two motors here and it seems pretty simple because everything is basically like these different cables have different plugs. So you can't really plug it into the wrong thing. And this is the control surface. It's a touch screen. Ooh. Oh, and it's got a USB here. Oh, and also the power. Gotta plug in. So this is kind of cool because the cable management basically is, um, like you see, once you put in these bolts, it stays there, but it, it also it's easily adjustable. So you can open it, you can get to the cables, pull new cables through, stuff like that. Uh, so let's maybe plug this sucker in and let's see if it works. Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> oh, wow. And now you press it down. So it's, you know, kind of sounds like, um, I don't know, like an electric toothbrush. It's not, again, you hear the little motor, but it's not that loud. It's a good thing that it goes this high because that means you can actually work standing up, which is good. Like sometimes I, I for me, when I'm editing, oh man, like if I'm sitting for, you know, five, six hours in a row, my back starts hurting and all that stuff. Whereas here, you'll, they'll be able to just lift everything up with the monitors, everything. And then, you know, when I'm ready, I just, press the button and have everything go down. Oh, nice. So it's a shame, but the, the wood, I mean, it's beautiful, but it got damaged in three spots. One, two, three, and it's the shipping carrier i mean that's i didn't see it but now i see in the box there's like these tiny indentations and it just happened to think i mean it's not the end of the world it will still work but it's just you can see a little bit there so it's a beautiful top like they have different colors obviously like the the, the whole structure the metal part but also the the desktop you can get different sizes there's different wood finishes or different materials i went with this one i like that look but I'm a little disappointed that in shipping this got damaged. And I can't really flip it because even though the other side, it doesn't have those marks. The thing is that the other side is pre-drilled already. All right, got it all done 
here. So let's see how it works. So as you can see, I finished uh, setting up my new desk. The, the two monitors I have fit perfectly on it. Still have plenty of space for my other gadgets, control surfaces or things like that. Um, and so, you know, overall I liked the, the look of the desk, uh, the little scratches that happen during delivery. Actually, really out of all of them, there's only one, actually it's under the, the charger, so it's only one still visible here, but if I put something, you're not gonna see it. So, so I guess it's okay, but uh, you know, it's not really, I guess, the fault of the manufacturer, it's the shipping company. So uh, I wasn't home, they just dropped it off in front of my house. So I wasn't able to like inspect the package, but definitely if you're home and you see them delivering this, inspect the box. If you see that there's some damage to the box, then just have them basically uh, I guess cover it with insurance and, and take it back and, and uh, so that the, the manufacturer also is covered and you're covered. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I mean, if I like the desk, like I said, I love the look of it and the simplicity of the, of the control. So as you can see, I can adjust it up and down however I want it. You can actually set four presets. So you have four sort of like memories that, that you can you can uh, preset. So for example, let's say I, uh, I like this this height right now. I can just press the M button for memory and press one, and that's gonna be my preset one. If I go back, let's say a little bit, and then I wanna save the, this position as my preset two, just press M and then two, and that's it, it's saved. Uh, now I can easily just go between one and the other uh, and then you also have two other presets here, which is just as a little icon for standing and sitting. So I actually did uh, adjust it for me for sitting. Uh, and so it's gonna go there to a position on its own. And it's kind of nice that it remembers it for you and it's perfect for me now. I, like I said, I adjusted the height. I could go actually a little bit lower still, but for me, like I said, this is good. And then when I get, let's say a little bit, you know, tired of sitting for too long, and I want to stand up, I'm gonna stretch out, and I can just press my other preset. And now it's gonna go up to my standing position. And uh, yeah, to be honest, this is, it's, it's a cool function to have. <laughs> I've never had a desk that automatically adjusted itself. I did have one small desk that I've used um, that had sort of like, like a little crank and it allowed you to go up and down. Uh, but, well, two things I don't like with it. First of all, the range of it, like how much you could go up or how much down you could go wasn't very big. This can actually go even higher. I'm not, you know, I don't, it didn't go to the maximum height or, or the lowest setting because it's, it's not good for me. But if you're taller or something like that, then you can go higher. Um, and then another thing, like I said, about my old desk that I had with where I had the little crank is that it just, took too long for it to crank it up and down. And also while you were doing it, it would be kind of shaking the whole desk a little bit. Whereas this, because it's got the dual motors, it just goes nice and smooth on both sides. Uh, you know, does it fairly fast, quietly, and, uh, and it's easy. You don't have to do anything. I mean, you just press a button, wait for it to go. Um, it's got also a lock, so that M button also acts as a lock. So for example, if I press and hold it for five seconds, See, it says LOC for lock, and now it doesn't matter which buttons you press, you can't do anything. So for example, if you leave the desk, and maybe you don't want your kids or somebody else uh, playing with your desk, and that's sort of how you like it, to unlock it, you press and hold it, the end button again. And now it's unlocked. Uh, another thing actually it has, which is kind of cool, is that it will, like even when it detects some kind of resistance, it will stop and then go back, let's say to, you know, to a little bit so that it doesn't like, like for example, let's say if I were to leave my chair, uh, let's say I forgot that, that the chair is here and I'm just gonna uh, press the, let's say my sitting position here. So do that, put the here in the middle. Oh. So you see it bumped into the chair and then it just went back a little bit and it stopped. So I can still pull out my chair. And this way, if, like I said, it's just a nice safety feature to have. Like let's say somebody moved a piece of furniture or you, like I said, you left something, a box or something underneath it and you forgot, then uh, these presets, it's not, it's not like it's gonna force, for, force it and break whatever is in the way. So it's nice to have. 
The USB is for charging. I'm already using it, as you can see. I'm charging my, my camera batteries, actually. So that's, that's good to have. And otherwise, like I said, it's a pretty simple to use mechanism and it is very convenient. Like I, I gotta admit to be able to have a desk that again, you can have a lot of space. You can customize it. Obviously you can get your own top or get some of the other tops you have. They have different sizes. Uh, it supports, like I said, a lot of weight and the fact that you can so easily now adjust uh, the height of it. It just means that it's, it's that much easier to, to use it. And then it means that also that I'm probably gonna be actually adjusting this versus my other old desk that I had to hand crank. I just never really bothered adjusting it. Once I put it in my sitting position, that was it. I do have to say that I really do like this bamboo finish uh, on the top. Uh, obviously they have other options, like I said, you can choose from. The way that the legs are designed, uh, they gonna have these three sections that kind of go into each other and it's perfectly sealed here. So it doesn't feel like there's anything I could get in there. Uh, and it's, again, it's very smooth. There's also large rubber pads on the bottom, which are gonna keep the desk uh, from sliding around and also it won't damage your, your floors. Uh, anyways, if you guys wanna find out for yourself some of the options that you can get, different sizes, colors, and uh, most importantly, the prices, uh, then uh, definitely check out the link in the description of this video. Also, they have some discounts uh, for Black Friday and all that stuff. I'm gonna provide all the codes and all that information again in the description or you can head over to my website at tomantosfilms.com uh, that's it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye